I pray. I mean, I, I pray, but I'm still struggling. Does God hear me? I tithe religiously, but I'm still struggling. Does God hear me? And then I read this book. And realize maybe I wasn't listening. Contrary wins. For those who want to give up, but need to know, greater is coming. Bye now on He Did Not. What up, y'all? So a lot of people have been asking me how to get their music on my brand vile hip hop news. I think I got away. I'm going to start doing music video reactions for independent artists. If you're interested, email me at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com for details. Ourself, we covered the story. Um, we interviewed Grandmaster Flash, um, Hassan Campbell, and Ron Savage about the whole Africa Bambada situation. Now, as of recently, um, there was a picture that broke the internet of Ronald Savage getting back with Africa Bambada. They were at some type of an event together, and um, people were speculating. The day after that, I guess, you know, a lot of hip-hop, in particular, all hip-hop, reached out to do an interview, a sit-down interview with Ron Savage. And at that point in time, he actually walked back the claim about Africa Bambada. Now, he's all saying, shaking his head over there. <laughs> now, if you go back to Ron Savage's original story, because we've been following it, um, he said when he had his first encounter sexually with Africa Bambada that he was just 15 years old. Now, in this new article, in this new interview, he was pretty much came out and said that he's not a P-word, right? And he said at the time that he was 15, but he never told Africa Bambada that. He told Africa Bambada that he was 18. And he also went on to say that if he would have told Africa Bambada that he was 18, that he feels like none of this would have ever happened. Um, let's just start there, Sam, man. Uh, what was your thoughts on that particular statement? Because remember, 2016... This would, nobody, like, this, everybody was scared to come out against Bambada. Like, you know, it was all, everybody had was rumors. Grandmaster Flash came on and said he saw Bambada touch another dude's butt. But it's always been rumors and speculation. When he came out, when Ron Savage came out, all hell broke loose in the hip-hop industry. And now he's walking back that claim. What's your thoughts? This is some bullshit. Now, this is, this is why, though. Let me, let me be perfectly clear. No one wants African Bambada to be that. Nobody wants to put that kind of reputation on him. That's serious, right? And when you have people making those type of allegations and then there being some some steam behind that when other people start doing it, uh, we got to get those type of people out of our community, out of our world ASAP because no grown anybody should be taking advantage of children, especially in a sexual way. So we took that very seriously. And throughout the years, and we in, even interviewed Ron Savage ourselves, and it seems to me the only thing that he's been consistent with is the fact that he wants nothing from Africa Bambada. But the story fucking switches every time you turn around. Mm. And now eight years, it was eight something, seven, eight yeah, years yeah. later, now he's no longer uh, what you accused him of being years ago. That's crazy because this man's name has been smutted on for over a decade. You've had more than one person. You're not the only person to come out and say this. So it's either on one side a bunch of weirdos who were into weird behaviors back then and we're afraid to talk about it are now coming clean now about the weird behaviors because it's more accepted or you're covering up for something either way is very dangerous both ways and i, I just I, I think it's bullshit bro to be honest with and you. then it's like who do you believe because you on one breath you got Hassan campbell coming out and saying that africa ben Bada had his way with him you know he comes out he, he gives graphic accounts now the age kind of differs of what age he actually was when it started with africa ben Bada, but people are going back for it you know, Hassan Campbell asserts that it was thousands. As a matter of fact, he said he had a book, a book of phalluses in it, of different people that Africa been by the mess with. This is Hassan Campbell's own words, right? That he has a book? That he's seen a book. Okay, he's seen now, a book. He don't have a book. The African man body has a book of men's junk that he messed with or boys' junk that he messed with. Mm. He goes on and says thousands of kids in Bronx River, thousands were taken advantage of by African men. These videos are out there. People that, that are going to hear this are going to know that we're telling the truth. Hassan can't even you know, deny this because he said it numerous times. So who are we to believe here, right? It, 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 it is Ron Savage telling the truth? Like, okay, the only thing I know of is me. We did our thing five times in the car. He gave me head and whatnot. I kept going back. Yeah, I was 15. 
I was, um, you know, um, 15 at the time, but I told him I was 18. Hassan Campbell says he's what, 12, 11, 13 years old. I don't know what age, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, when no. he was, I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he says that he was going back and he witnessed himself. He witnessed himself seeing other people get with Bambada or Bambada doing stuff to other young boys, as he calls it. So it's just like who who do we who are we to believe? Now, only thing I could say is consistent, like with Ron Savage, like same thing you said. He said he never wanted to pursue nothing against Bambada. Maybe it's true. Maybe he didn't tell him his correct age. Maybe he did tell him he was eighteen. But even that though, it's kind of young, bro. Oh, that's yeah. like a forty-something year old yeah. messing with an eighteen-year-old girl. That's, that's questionable. It's legal, but it's kind of taboo. It's like what you doing, bro? Right. Yeah. But now you're doing it with a boy. Now, that's his preference. Apparently, the thing was, I wasn't there. People that we interviewed, it was widely known that Bambada, you know, did his thing with men. He liked men. That's his prerogative. Once you cross the line to get into young boys and people under the age, you know, 15, 16, 12-year-olds, then it's a problem. Who do we believe? But, but then the other part about it is that Assange Campbell himself never actively went after Bambada when he could have. He could have took this man down, right? He could have took him down with this new law that they had. It was a window that was opened up for people that was victims of SA to actually, but he said he didn't want to take nothing from him. It's weird. Then he said he loved him. Same thing that Ron Savage said. He said, I loved him. I love him. He was like a father figure to me. I've never been in a situation like this, so I can't call it. Where the love would be to somebody who penetrated you or gave you head, That's gave you head, or what? I, I don't see where the love would be in that. Maybe there's something out there clinically that you can call that. But me personally, man, I'm gonna want nothing to do with that person. And if I had an opportunity to take him down, I would. Unless, oh, unless, unless what? <laughs> you wanted to do it. Unless you willingly wanted to do it and you went over there with the understanding that it was about to be some homosexual stuff going on and you were willing to do it because you, in fact, yourself are homosexual. Because I can imagine if I had a girl, because I can't, I can't do, I, I can't even understand the other side. If I had a girl <laughs> that I liked and I, she was 18, 19, she was 25, 30, and she's like, oh, damn, baby, you cute. How old are you? I'm 18. What's up? Okay, for 15, 16, or what? I know I could give off the impression that I'm whatever age she needs me to be because I want to go in there and get some pussy. So wow. if your intent was to go in there Ooh. and get your stuff sucked, to go in there and get your foundation pushed in, you're going to tell dude whatever you want. And no one's checking IDs. We probably, we probably checking IDs in 2024, but they weren't checking IDs in the 80s and the 90s. So because African Ben Bada was having Diddy parties before Diddy was having parties, now all of a sudden he's this because back then it was taboo to be a certain way, and now all of a sudden it is. I think that I, my, my personal opinion, because if this was going on and it was going on to the level that people uh, speculated, the feds would have came. I mean, the feds came in and rushed Diddy's house over speculations. That's a good point. They kicked his fucking door in. There was so much stuff on African Ben Bada to where if it was some smoke behind that fire, that the uh, feds could have walked in and found a book. You, you crazy? A right. book of little boys? Are you crazy? Yeah. The feds ain't come in, and now nobody wants to talk, and it's only these two really. Man, it seemed like some wild ditty party type stuff going on, and now the truth is starting to rear its ugly head. Maybe uh, Ron Savage did have an awakening and said, you know what? Right. I'm, I'm tired of holding this. This is the truth. I'm tired of having this man. I, I love him. This is what we did willingly. You know what? Then cool. But in you doing that, now we question the entire thing, man. We question it all. Yeah. And, and you know, Bambada, you got to give him, you know, he, he, he always denied it all. He said it was never true. He never touched nobody. And the fact that he was able to, you know, they had the picture together, they was able to sit down and come to some type of agreement. I mean, that is what it is. But there's so much other stories out there of people you know, that said they knew this. Like you can go through all, out the industry. We ain't got to name their name. Just go right. do your research. Right. A lot of big figures in hip hop said, nah, I, I, he did this. I know he did this. So I, I'm interested to see how they're going to feel about this walking back. You know, um, and technically, he still would be the P word because, you know, he was 15 at the time. But now Ron Savage said he didn't really know. I don't know. And even the part like, 
All right, Von Savage, he he liked boys, men at the time, boys. Yeah. But yeah. like, I you know, I just ain't no man. I'm 15 years old, bro. 13, 12. Ain't no man sucking me off, bro. No. I'm not going. Like, if no. he ever try to do anything, like we fighting, we scrapping, we, we wrestling. I got a want, box cutter, man. I'm slicing this man's throat, Something. I'm not bro. just going like, to sit there like. <laughs> it's not happening, bro. It's not happening. I remember one time, saw that it was acting on so I can't he was like, well, did he, he said, did he uh did he unbutton your pants? Like, how did how did this thing go? Right. Like the steps did, of this shit. Did, did he force himself on you? Did you willingly take like those are real questions, man? Like, if you, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, like what's going on with this? Were you a willing participant in this? You ain't five or six years old. You 12, you between 12, we'll give you between 12 and 15. Kids like I got Dracos at 12. Got Dracos shooting up stuff, you're yeah. a menace in the street. What's going on with this situation? See, it's a lot that's not being told with this situation, man. Mm-hmm. A lot that's not being told. And um, this is just the real talk right here. And we can get a little bit realer, but YouTube does its thing. But this is just the real stuff right here. I believe that, yes, there are people that get taken advantage of out there. Men and women, young girls, young boys. But there's also people that wanted to do it. That wanted it. And in this situation, it looks like at least one of those individuals wanted it. Just admitted it. Just admitted it. Just admitted it. And it's it. and it's fine. It's fine. You know, that's your prerogative. There's many people that want to go with the LBGT thing. I don't have nothing against you at all. Nope. At all. Nope. But just admit it that you wanted it. That's it. And clear that man's name if he ain't do what y'all are claiming him to do, which is take advantage and assault children. If you was a grown ass nigga and you was over there getting your stuff pushed in, that's y'all business. Yeah, right. That's y'all nasty ass business. That's not breaking the law. But if he was over there doing this to children and it was a, a, a operation where children were being taken advantage of, then y'all have a right and a duty as human beings to make sure this man goes down. But something tells me.